Like life in Cape Town can be so simple. Like course is telling you, go to the beach. Your crush doesn't want you, go to the beach. Um, they ghosted you, I go to the beach, boy. Listen, in today's video, I will be talking about things I wish I knew before joining UCT and things I wish I knew before joining computer science. Uh, let's get into it. Right, so first things first, I wish that somebody would have told me that computer science requires you to do a double major since it's in the science faculty, right? So when I first got to UCT or got accepted into UCT, my whole plan, my whole plan was just to do computer science alone, but that's not possible unless you go through the BCom stream, but still, that's not possible um, without taking a second major. So you're required to take two majors in the science faculty, so you will be doing computer science and something else. Computer science, like BSc computer science and applied statistics, computer science and mathematics. So you gotta pick your majors wisely, you feel me? Make sure you download the science faculty handbook it really comes in handy when you're one picking your courses and also picking your majors also very important you've got to pick your majors correctly so that they put you in a position where school is easy for you not easy nothing's easy but put yourself in a position where you're definitely gonna pass you're definitely gonna manage your time you're definitely gonna just win in life you know do the right majors because I know when I first got accepted into UCT, my acceptance was for computer science. And I didn't even know at the point, but my second major was going to be archaeology. <laughs> what am I going to be doing as an archaeologist? I mean, what? for what reason, bruv? So um, make sure you pick the right major. So the reason I'm telling you to download the faculty handbook is because it's going to help you pick your electives correctly so in computer science you have to pick electives for electives and electives are basically subjects modules you have to do in order to get the credits to complete your degree basically right so electives can be like totally like unrelated to your degree but fill that space of you taking four subjects Per semester like for example I did physics electives in the first semester big 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 mistake bro you must make your life easy you must make it so 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 easy I took astronomy yo don't do that to yourself don't take astronomy I don't know what I was thinking I thought it was easy I really thought it was just the star signs and all that thing but yeah don't take astronomy trust 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 that thing is difficult I won't lie to you I fumbled there I thought it was the star signs I was like yo maybe that <laughs> But anyways, basically I'm telling you pick the right electives because I know this one friend of mine He chose electives like um, Philosophy Psychology things like that and basically his life was a breeze, you know He got time to focus on his core modules, which are computer science and math Okay, 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 okay. So listen carefully so first you listen, listen, like, come here, come here, come here. Listen, guys. So I'm going to put you on. In the second semester and first semester, there's one easy course. If you, if they tell you to pick electives, take word power, boy. Take word power. Like, that thing is so easy. It's basically you using the dictionary. And then, like, bah, it's so easy. Just take word power. It's the easiest thing you can do for yourself. Um... Take easy things that will basically just like help you focus on the main, the task at hand, the main thing, which is your computer science, your Python and Java, basically. Cause word power is really just an easy A type of thing. Uh, easy first, easy dub. Make your life easy guys. I wish we knew we're gonna be programming in Python and Java. So I'm telling you now, you're gonna be programming in Python and Java. If I knew that, I would have like took the initiative to like learn some Python and Java during the holiday. Of course, I learned Python, but just just cause of luck, cause I wanted to do the YouTube thing. But um, in general, just learn Python, learn Java. Uh, if you learn Java in high school, that's really gonna help you out. If you learn Python in high school, that's really gonna help you out. So in CSC 1015, you're gonna be doing Python. 
and then in CSC 10 16 that one's difficult way oh you're gonna be doing Java I won't lie to you that thing is hard yo it's still giving me PTSD uh, uh, it was not easy and then another thing is so for computer science specifically there's a system requirement right you have to have you should just basically have a good computer a good enough computer for you to program on hey boy <laughs> hey boy i'm gonna tell you now you need a good laptop because it's really gonna help you out i'll show you what i was using oh, oh, um, um, when you have a decent computer to program on this is my laptop Oh, 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 this is my laptop now I edit on this and all that stuff, but yo, it's in his mood. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, guys, it's really important that you have a good computer with a good processor, Core i3 and up, um, so that you can program well. Because I know I use this. Um, oh, 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 it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. You know, I edited Mafia on this, eh? If you enjoyed Mafia, please, 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 like, please leave a dub in the comments. I'm going to put the system requirements needed for computer science right here. And then, yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Holy cut is insane. Shout out to my barber, dog. Gonna be doing a lot of programming. I'm trying to program more this year. Cause I didn't do much programming last year. I only did programming like when I needed to hand in assignments, but it's really important that you program like during the weekends, just like, just in general to practice what goes down. You get me? I won't lie in the first semester, since I was so good at Python, I became complacent because like, it was things I already knew, but in that time where I knew what was going on in the lectures, and like being so good at the subject, I could have used that time to level myself up in Python and become like, like level Python a coder and all that stuff. But in the long term, it caught up with me in times where I didn't remember how to do things in Python. So it's very important that you don't get, you don't get complacent just because you know things already of you or you've already learned the stuff in high school. That will really hinder your progress in programming. You're just being presented the same work. You're gonna slack off and all that stuff. I know I did, I won't lie. But it's really important that you take it as new, like take it as if you're learning a new subject, like this is new to you. And then maybe it'll help you like progress and become so much better at Python, better at Java. Like in general, mastering your craft. Mastering your craft is pushing pain. Mastering your craft is pushing me. <laughs> and this is UCT Java. No games, boy. It's very important that you find friends within your faculty, right? So that in a way you guys can help each other in terms of like knowing when work is due, um, when a quiz is due. I only found this out a little bit later when I realized that, yo, it actually helps to have friends in your faculty. So make sure you network to people within your faculty and yeah I know most of my friends are in humanities but I did end up finding like some CS friends and all that stuff yeah it really helps out like I know for Python it's just gonna be a mix of some commerce people and there'll be people like who are just in the science faculty doing Python with you but as soon as CSC 10 16 starts all these commerce people are dipping it's just going to be you and the CS people. So it's very important that during the first semester you find your CS friends or CS people who will help. You don't necessarily have to be friends with all these CS people, but you just have to have that link to them. All right, so another thing I wish I knew before joining computer science there, I wish I knew that there will be so many assignments. Like every single week there was an assignment and a quiz which was really like, yo, it's cute at first. Um, assignment, quiz, ah, light work, it's so easy right now. And then it gets a bit murky. It gets a bit grimy, you feel me? Second 
semester can get really grammy because it's more fast paced. It's a short semester. So watch out for that, be prepared for that. First semester, light work, very easy. But second semester, deadly. Facts, <laughs> facts. Get prepared for that um, because there'll be so many assignments. They're very challenging, which is the reason why they give them to you. So that in exams, like, it's nothing new, you feel me? Be ready for assignments due every Friday. And if you don't hand them in in time, they're gonna reduce the percentage. So another thing, don't be scared of handing in work late. Yeah, don't be scared of handing in work late if it's gonna like if that assignment is gonna stop you from doing some other work which is quite important too like uh, work from your core modules and if it is your core module always put your core module first like always put CS first over your electives because you can fail an elective but failing a core module is gonna make you like extend your course and you don't want that. You don't want to be in uni for so, for such a long time. Just think of it like this way. You can repeat groove every weekend, but you can't afford to repeat a course. Because if you repeat a course, it's just time and money wasted. You feel me? So always put, always put the books first. Hit books. Um, and yeah, put groove last. I wish I did that, but hey! <laughs> the final thing I wish I knew before going to UCT in general was like not every lecturer is gonna be good or top tier even though it's a top tier university um, some lectures are just gonna be mid but when that happens all you need to do is like find a way, find resources online like YouTube, all that stuff to help yourself at least pass the course yeah because some lecturers are just you know straight doo-doo straight cheeks boy you know um but oh but hey maybe i'm just a bad student but i will put like the resources i used to learn python and java i know Okay, so I'll put the link to some websites I used to learn Java and Python. So I used web schools the most, that really helps out. And YouTube was my second teacher. And yeah, those are things I wish I knew before joining computer science. Okay, so general things I wish I knew before joining UCT and living in Cape Town was the living costs are kinda expensive. Accommodation is kind of expensive. In general, it's kind of expensive living in Cape Town, but if you budget your money correctly as a student, you'll live a nice life. And yeah, just enjoy your first year. Um, like, do the most. Yo, do everything you can in that first year. It's the first time you're away from your parents. So you're living on your own, um, being able to do whatever you want. Basically, you're, you're playing GTA way. So, right now is the time you're, it's like the decider in life, the point where you discover yourself, the point where you find out new things about yourself, and yeah, just enjoy it. Um, life is a journey that we all go through. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let me not get into that too much. Um, but yeah, just have new experiences. Cape Town is a tourism city, so make sure you check out all the nice spots. Like life in Cape Town can be so simple. Like course is chowing you, go to the beach. Um, your crush doesn't want you, go to the beach. Um, they ghosted you, ah, go to the beach, boy. Wait, 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 before we end the video, before we end the video, I just want to show you a new addition to the Wavy family, real quick. Two new additions to the way we fam. This is Doja and this is the Doja. Doja dog. This is um Doge. Doge Coin. You feel me? I feel like calling him. But he's giving me Mufasa. He's <laughs> Easy, 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 easy,
you are, not stress you out. I'm easy, babe. Easy, 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 babe. Know you like expensive things, but top it off a shot and eight. Circle around the block to pick you up because your daddy home. I don't want no drama, Dalai Lama, till she busts it low. Easy, 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 easy.